Hello and welcome to part B. Uh, today is day 11 of the dating game and this video is basically just to explain how I'm meeting the dates that I'm catching up with to uh, review the different venues and activities around Melbourne and Geelong. I had put the two dating apps, Bumble and Tinder, onto my phone. I created a bio for myself, which you can see an example of in the first video, uh, day three that I posted about eight days ago. I basically log into the app and Bumble is slightly different to Tinder, but they're both pretty much the same in that when you're using the dating mode, you swipe left or right according to whether the person's photo or their bio appeals to you. I didn't want to play the game that Bumble and Tinder I guess expect you to play. You may be surprised, but I have heard that many guys when they're using Tinder um, and, and you can also see memes that um, rep, like show this as well, but a lot of people just swipe right on everyone. So I've heard that some people swipe right on everyone and then when a match appears, then they decide whether they're actually interested in starting a conversation with that person or not. So that's generally how Tinder works for some people. I thought, well, that's a good way of using the app in a way that it's not really intended to be used. So by swiping right on everyone, I'm not playing the, the expected Tinder or Bumble game. So with Bumble, I, I have the app on my phone and I'm swiping right and after I get to about, I don't know, 10 or 20 profiles that I've swiped right on, then Bumble gives me a message which says something like, looks like you're out of people. Uh, and so that's a way of getting me to log back into the app tomorrow to see if there's more people that I can swipe on. Um, but another way that they suck you into continuously using the app day after day is when you when you match with someone, you get a, a message, uh, which I can read to you here. It says, you're in control of this conversation. You have 24 hours to make the first move. Uh, so as a female, when I've been told that I've matched with someone, then it's up to me to initiate the conversation. So I'll write something and then the guy has 24 hours to reply and if he doesn't reply then the match disappears. So again Bumble have designed the app so that you have to keep logging in to see if people have written to you and then if I log in tomorrow and someone that I, I wanted to write to me hasn't written to me then I'll probably keep swiping. And so it's kind of like this endless cycle of swiping and conversations that don't really go anywhere and it's very frustrating and time consuming and when you do find someone that you match with and you well this is how I used to use the app by the way you do find someone that you match with and you initiate that conversation and it's quite engaging and then maybe it's like time to go to bed or time to go to work or you know you don't have time to continue that conversation then then you hope you know tomorrow or later on in the day that they're going to be online so that you can continue the conversation but it's really hard to find someone that you connect well with and have a f really good flowing conversation with who's actually online at the same time as you. So in my experience, I found that conversations just became quite disjointed and I really lost interest in using the apps that way. So for the purpose of this project and this exercise, I didn't want to waste time engaging in lengthy chats with people through the app. So I swipe right on everyone I initiate the conversation by sending a very short message, something like, oh, I'm assuming that you've read my bio and I just want to make sure that you're on board. Uh, if you want some more information, I can send you a video link and, and that links back to the first video that I made on day three so that they can see that I'm a real person, understand a little bit more about uh, this project. And then if they're on board, they can write back to me and I usually give them my number at that stage and say, got quite a few people that are interested in catching up with me. And I, I, I find it very hard to keep track of all the conversations happening in the app. So write to me and 
or we'll arrange a date. Uh, and so that's how I've been setting up my, my Bumble dates. And Tinder's exactly the same in the way that I set up the dates, except that the app works slightly differently. So let me just log back into my phone and I'm going to do a little experiment here because um, with Bumble, it's only yeah, 20 swipes maybe that I can do in a day before it says that I'm out of potential people around me. On Tinder, I've actually got it set to a hidden profile so I'll change that and I'll see how many swipes I can do today before it tells me that there's no one left for me to swipe and then of course that encourages me to log back into the app tomorrow to continue swiping through profiles once they guess I guess they get unlocked after 24 hours show me on tinder done uh, already it's saying there's no one around you expand your discovery settings to see more people Click on discovery settings. My maximum distance is set to like 80 kilometers. So I think it's just pulling my leg. I'm going to swipe right on as many people and I'm going to try and count them as I go. Um, so one, two, three. Ninety nine. Ooh, I'm at a hundred. A hundred. <gasps> and then it comes up with this out of likes so I swiped 100 times right and I'm out of likes and oh it's only 12 hours that I have to wait before I can go through that all again no thanks yeah and then I match with people and you know they read my bio uh, my dating mission blah 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 my conditions that they need to be a good conversationalist committed to meeting offline no creeps or players and they pay their own way if people don't bother writing to me when I write to them like I initiate the conversation then I kind of feel like they're not going to be a good conversationalist so I usually say you know sorry I don't think we're a good match and then I had one guy reply and say thanks for judging me but I he didn't read my bio and he didn't reply to any of my questions and all he said was hey and then I did like a good paragraph and then he said hi and then I wrote are you a robot and all he wrote was no why not a very engaging conversation and someone that I don't really want to be having a, a first date with so yeah I'll be unmatching that guy dating apps and me I don't think we're all that compatible if I use them the way that they're uh, designed for us to use initially I thought that dating apps were the best idea in the world because as a shy girl who is like I don't think I've ever gone up to a guy in a in a public space that I've I've found myself attracted to and introduced myself to him no way so I thought well you know with dating apps if you see someone that you're attracted to this is such a low risk way to introduce yourself to them. But what I found in the past was that I would invest time in finding people's profiles who uh, I was attracted to and I would put effort into engaging in conversations. And those conversations often didn't go anywhere and I just found that I was really wasting my time using the dating apps. So that's why I thought, well, instead of using dating apps like that, I'm going to use it completely differently. And so this has become the dating game where I am simply just trying to meet people that I probably would not never have met otherwise. So if I swipe on everyone and if they're up for meeting me, then that's great. And there's no expectations of it being an actual date. It's just a meeting. And because there's no expectations, then both of us can relax and just enjoy experiencing the venue or the activity and just getting to know each other. So I guess if I can compare it to when I've been on dates previously with, with guys that I've been really excited to catch up with after having chatted to them a little bit online, and then when you meet them, they don't actually live up to the expectations or the image or the the person that I had created in my mind so through the app you get like only a, a tiny bit of the person you know who they are their personality their mannerisms and you could spend hours in conversation online trying to get to know someone but you invest one hour of your time with face-to-face -face conversation 
meeting up in person and you get so much more like it's such a richer experience i thought rather than playing the superficial dating game using apps where half the time people not very good at holding the phone <laughs> where people are totally judging books by by their cover a lot of people get scammed a lot of people using old photos a lot of people live using filters on their photos a lot of people are getting you to click links that take you to some website where you have to stick in your credit card details and it's a total scam it's not a pleasant world to be in i don't want to be spending a lot of time on dating apps i want to just meet people naturally i believe that good relationships start with friendship if i can meet these people out and have a real conversation and get to know who they really are that's better than spending hours online looking at a screen trying to engaging conversations with people who you know, aren't really going to get a, an accurate feel for who they are. So, oh, this is a really long video. I think that my experience that I had with the first six dates that I went on was far better than, you know, even though that probably took six or seven hours of my time. Easily, I would have spent six or seven hours a week swiping through profiles and trying to have conversations with people. And that time just went nowhere. But I've made you know, a handful of really good friends. Well, not really good friends, but we could potentially be really good friends because they're all really good guys. I guess the bonus for them is that I know a lot of single females. If someone suitable happens to be at an event that I could introduce them to, then bonus for them. Uh, I'm going to wrap up this video now. I just wanted to, to understand how I'm using the dating apps to find people. So I'm just swiping right on everyone. And for those people who are putting in the effort to engage in conversation with me, I, I double check to make sure that they're on board. And then we pretty much arrange a date straight away. Yeah, I find that meeting these people without any preconception of who they are just makes it a really relaxing way to meet people. And yeah, thank you guys for being very open-minded and for accepting the challenge to come out and meet me. And uh, yeah, I look forward to going on more dates and reviewing more venues and activities because it was such a fun time. All right. Thanks for watching. Cheers.